Sarah, hi, this is uh, Carlo from Flybubble. I'm here with Russell from Ozone. He's going to tell us about uh, the new things coming out from Ozone, which it sounds like there's quite a lot. Yeah, we've got a few new gliders coming out this season. And, uh, we've got the Swift 4, which mm-hmm. is a lightweight version of the uh, Rush 4. Mm-hmm. Um, we save about 1.4 kilos on the medium size. Um, so it's really optimised for weight, and but it retains the same plan form and profile and trimming and everything of the Rush 4 so it's great fun to fly with the lightweight cloth we have a little less inertia in the sail Mm -hmm. so it's uh, really really sweet to fly very Mm -hmm. very uh, happy with that glider Mm -hmm. and this should be available to order very soon in the next few weeks great also on the cards we have a new Mojo 5 to replace the Mojo 4 Mm -hmm. it's based uh, it's got a shark nose profile and so it's very comfortable and easy to fly and we've made quite a few prototypes now and we're well into that project. Um, so hopefully that will be available probably for next season, uh, over the winter time or early spring time next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, also we're making a new uh, very simple basic glider for schools. Um, and we aim to keep it to, to replace the element. Mm-hmm. And it will be a very simple, safe, forgiving easy wing to use as a workhorse in the school Mm -hmm. um, or potentially for someone who wants to get into the sport very cheaply because we intend to try and keep the production costs and price down to a to a minimum that we can also we've just finished the enzo 2 in the extra small and the large size these are now certified Mm -hmm. uh, to the cc class rather than end right okay Um, and what that allows is uh, what that means is that it also allows the medium and the small to be also certified CCC Mm -hmm. Uh, so that will allow the wings to be flown the Enzo 2 to be flown in the world championships up and coming in all sizes yeah in all sizes Mm -hmm. and uh, for the next following season as well in the front uh, you had a very interesting harness there the the (laughs) F light which looks absolutely mental can you tell us a little bit about the strength of that? I mean it it just looks like the string there is it enough to hold somebody up? the the F light is uh, developed by Fred, our new designer, and uh, it's an ingenious way of using Dyneema thread to form a web, and that forms the structure of the harness. The actual material that you see, the blue material, is just there to support the the Dyneema thread. Um, And it it has been load tested to 15 G with 100 kilos, and it weighs 99 grams in its current form. (laughs) We're going to spend the next uh, few months uh, developing the harness, uh, testing it, doing lots of hike and fly with it, because that's, that's what it's aimed for. It's not a cross-country harness. It's a specialist, lightweight, mm-hmm. uh, hike and fly harness. And uh, so we're going to spend the next few months um, tweaking it, getting it as comfortable as we can uh, without adding weight. We, 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 we're really trying to be strict on the 100 gram um, limit, which was our initial um, the initial plan was to keep it at around 100 grams. But it's a, it's a specialist harness designed purely for uh, serious hike and fly. Do you see any of that technology coming into other harnesses in the future? It, Maybe light, heavy it's, it's pods absolutely, or something like it's that? It's absolutely possible, yeah. It's all kind of um, totally transferable to other harnesses. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's the early days of this sort of technology. It's the first time it's ever been done. Um, and we will see how we can implement it in harnesses, gliders, bags, whatever. Are there any other new harnesses coming out from Ozone? Um, Yes, we have the Exocet. It's available in the small and the medium size, and soon it will be available in the large size. And eventually for next season, we'll work on a smaller structure of the harness, because at the moment, the, the, the difference in sizes is purely in the pod length. The right, actual structure yep. itself remains the same. Okay. But for next season, we will have a smaller structure for, for small pilots. Right, okay. Also, we have a new XC harness, which is similar to the Osium, um, but made in heavier materials. And it is a, a standard cross-country harness for everyday mm-hmm. use with a pod, a detachable pod, mm-hmm. um, and an in, uh, incorporated uh, cockpit. And uh, it should be available with, a, with, a, with, with or without a seat plate. Uh, right, so you can okay. fly it either way, uh, however you choose to fly. And um, again, it's in its early stages of um, development and we've got, uh, it, uh, we hope to have it available for next spring sometime. Yeah, but recently you guys went off and tried to break the world record. Is that something you're going to try again? Was it fun? Are you going to do it 
not regularly it was a once off it was a lot of fun it was quite full on um, but it's certainly something I'd like to go back and revisit um, the potential of that area on the Texas border is amazing and given the right day with the right conditions uh, I think the world record will be destroyed there and I think 600 kilometers is definitely on the card huh. and uh, I would like to go back and give it another go for sure Okay, well thanks Russ, that's um, pretty good coverage of, of what's, what's new um, and yeah, we, we look forward to testing the gear when it comes through to the UK and trying it out and seeing how it goes. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cool. Great. Cheers. Thanks. Alright, so just pretend it's like a really big microphone, really impressive, yeah. it doesn't look like... He's going to... Um, he's going... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the fingers, I was cracking me up. <laughs>